Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In this series of video lectures, we've been talking about biochemical calculations and this video is a short one and it's about buffer dilution problems and stock dilution problems. And this video is more important while you're working in lab because a lot of times you need to do a quick calculation of uh, making diluting uh, or dilution for the buffers that is out there. The stock buffer that we usually have is much strong we call it 50x, 20x, 30x different strong buffer. So in this case, we're talking about TAE buffer, which is very useful buffer, which is also needed for the gel electrophoresis purpose. So let's say the stock buffer is 50x strong. We need to make it 1x. How to convert 50x stock into 1x of volume 500 milliliters? So the question is how to make 1x TAE buffer of volume 500 milliliter from 50x stock buffer solution? So this type of problems are generally not given in, in, in uh, exams or math because it's easier and probably have done that in your class 2 level. But for a quick memory boost, let's watch this video. How to do that? You know, for this type of calculations, all you need to know is C1, V1 equals to C2, V2. This is the formula that we utilize. You know, C means concentration and V means volume. So what we can say in this case, the C1 is the initial concentration that is given 50x, right? And the V1, uh, let's say C2, C2 is the end concentration. Our end concentration is also given 1x. We know both of C1 as well as C2. What about V1? V1 is the amount of volume that we take from the stock that we don't know we need to calculate this one out and v2 is the ultimate total volume after we dilute the stock that is 500 milliliter which is also mentioned in here so in this problem why it is super easy to solve because you know out of four separate parameters three of them are always provided the only thing that we need to calculate is one particular volume so in this case we need to calculate the v1 so how to calculate v1 we can rearrange the equation like v1 equals to c2 v2 by c1 isn't it so simply now plug the data from this table into this equation c2 means 1 v uh, v2 is 500 milliliter divided by uh, the c1 which is 50 so what we can say 10 milliliters so the volume one will be 10 milliliters what does that mean? That means, let's take this is the stock, stock solution, 50x strong. And this is the new, the new solution that we are preparing. So we are taking 10 milliliter, 10 milliliter from the stock. We put 10 milliliter in here, 10 milliliter 50x. And rest of the volume, we need to add distilled water to make the total volume of 500 milliliter. So if 10 milliliter is the 50x buffer that we take, so 490 milliliter of distilled water we need to add. That way, it will make a 500 milliliter of new 1x TAE buffer. That's how we'll calculate. Uh, that's how we'll, we'll dilate buffer, uh, dilute buffer from a higher concentration to the lower concentration. This is very much important because a lot of times we need to do that in a very quick, very, very rapid and fast way. Uh, this is the easy way to go. Okay. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. And tell me what kind of videos to make in future so that I can keep posting new videos just for your preparation. Thank you.